most wanted by fans of their older games. Usually deemed a bad choice due to lack of moves by people who don't know anything about their abilities beyond surface level information. Everyone who wants this character thinks they're the only one and acts like the most creative person alive. Popular McGRPG Guy! No amount of unique abilities will help them form an identity in the eyes of Smash players beyond a generic enemy sword fighter. Their franchise is actually an extremely big deal in the gaming landscape as a whole. Everyone who wants this character thinks they're the coolest person alive for going against popular opinion. Shooter McBoomer! Everyone who wants this character thinks they're either a lock or a pipe dream. No in between. Everyone against this character thinks they would become another toxic zoner, no matter how many melee abilities they come with. When people ask for this character because they want a shooter rep, they really mean only Halo or Doom. Vince Uel Novell! Everyone who is familiar with this character's franchise is a purist who refers to everything by his Japanese name. Or they picked up the most recent game and thought it was kinda neat. No in between. Like Scrimblo Bimblo fans, fans of this character think they're the most unique person alive. When asked for ideas for a moveset, their fans will either bring up Villager and Wii Fit Trainer, or Marvel vs. Capcom, and refuse to elaborate further. Bloody McGorson has a lot of character depth that the general public ignores, because they think the series is all violence for the sake of violence. Nobody will bring up any good points against this character aside from their violent nature. Nobody will bring up any good points in favor of this character, besides acknowledging Joker and Bayonetta. Nobody the pipe dream. Popularity can range from, oh yeah, their game was pretty neat, to literally who? Generally has the most chill fans. People want this character for nostalgic reasons, or just to spread awareness of the franchise. Punches the gay! Treated as a nobody by Smash fans if they come from anything other than Street Fighter. Everyone against this character claims they shouldn't be at it because we don't need more Shotos, regardless of whether they're actually a Shoto. Fans of this character know exactly how their moveset would be translated and have an advantage on release day. Real Life McSandbox their entire moveset consists of real weapons and basic hand-to-hand -hand combat. Nothing unique to their franchise. Fans of this character probably bought a PS5 day one and think that graphics are the most important part of the game. They also think series popularity alone is enough to justify their inclusion. Bonus points if their only frame of reference for their popularity are sales figures. Splash, you make sword, dude! usually has an over-the-top anime aesthetic and some kind of lore that fans of the series like to pretend is more complex than quantum physics. But in actuality, it is straightforward but hard to find because it's only told across a lot of obscure spin-off material. It doesn't matter what kind of game they come from or what their moveset brings to the table, the majority of the community will treat them as just another popular JRPG guy. Fans of this character are well aware of this fact and look forward to their inclusion. Not just because they like the franchise, but because they act as agents of chaos and want to see the community lose its mind. That's me. Obscure Generickson. They just kinda exist. Fans of this character are the living embodiment of Scramble of Bimblo's third point. They'll bring up this character every chance they get, and no matter how many times someone agrees with them, will still act like they're the only person out of the 7.8 billion of us that thinks this character is a good idea. Nobody ever actually has anything to say against them beyond, I just don't want them. Nima the Funny Man! They probably come from a dead franchise. Everybody who wants this character does so because they think it would be funny or because they want to stand out. Literally nobody expects it to actually happen. Indie Big Name Debuted within the last five years, Maximum. 
Fans of this character like to pretend they care the most about small studios, despite the fact that this character's studio is one of the few to break out into the mainstream. Their fans will act like Minecraft doesn't count as an indie game for that exact same reason, then proceed to show support for this character under the guise of wanting the first indie rep in Smash. Lightning confirmed. Already in the game, in some form besides playable fighter, everyone against this character will list off fan rules and say they can't happen, and give no actual reason why they shouldn't happen. Everyone in favor of this character will point out that those fan rules are indeed fan rules, yet still give no actual reasons for why they should be added. Retro McPixels Hasn't had a successful game outside of the arcades. Probably owned by a defunct company. Fans of this character think longevity equals popularity and importance, and don't actually think about how they could even have a moveset. Shonen McWeeb! When someone brings up this character, there's a 90% chance it'll be Goku, Naruto, or Jotaro. Everyone either believes it will 100% happen, or is completely appalled by the idea. Nobody will ever take you seriously again if you even suggest them as a possibility. Same goes for the Western counterpart Shreki McReki. Humble first party. Feels more like a, why are they here yet? rather than a, hopefully they'll get at it someday. Fans of this character probably lost all hope upon seeing Joker, then had that hope restored after seeing Byleth. I just think they're neat.